Uh, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. 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 What is going on, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Osaka, and today we're gonna to be taking an incredible food tour of an area called Shin Sakai. We're partnering up with Arigato Food Tours to show you guys around this retro neighborhood of Osaka, which invokes memories of 50 or 60 years ago. We're gonna be heading to five different spots. I think we're gonna be trying some foods that I know I've never even tried before. Adriana, I've heard that Osaka is the best food city in all of Japan. And are you excited to find out if that's true? Yeah, I heard that too, and I think it's one of the reasons I really wanted to come to, Japan, to, to Osaka specifically in Japan. And I have a couple things I want to try, so I'm curious if we're going to try it tonight. Right, this way? You can, you can, you can go anywhere you want. My good side. Both sides, man. <laughs> okay. This is Tal from The Traveling Clat, one of my favorite YouTube creators. And guess what? He is teaming up with us for a few videos in Osaka. Tal, you're pumped for this food tour. I'm so, so excited. I haven't eaten, and I'm hungry, and I'm ready to taste all the goodies. Shinsekai is one of my favorite spots in Osaka, and throughout our um, exploration tonight, I hope I can share with you why. I'm already enjoying this tour because she's talking a lot about history and I think you can mix history and food together and this neighborhood uh, she explained was actually modeled after Paris to the point where that tower back there was a mixture of the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower. Well, I want to look at Nintendo, yes. Dude, um, dude, honestly, Japan has taught me one thing is that that works. <laughs> that literally works with every electronic device. We have made it to stop number one. We're walking through some local diner looking spot for I'm not sure what. So basically, this sauce is here, um, you know, for the people that were here before you. They'll be here long after you leave. And basically, yeah, everybody kind of gives me that, whoa. And so there's this no double dipping rule. This is better than my English, I'm telling you. I told you were born to write Japanese. I was born to be Japanese, yeah. We're going behind the scenes right now, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we've got some kushikatsu, which is beef, avocado, which is quite unique, and uh, renkon, which is lotus fruit. So dig in. So we've got the beef kushikatsu, which is like the, the standard. This is the most well-known version of it. Being filmed on two different vlogs right now. <laughs> We're gonna dip this. Let's get a good John's shot. Taking his first oh, taste. Yeah. Kushikatsu. Dip it in the pool, man. Dip it in the pool. I love it. Okay. First kushikatsu taste of my life. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Mm. <clears throat> Fried goodness here. Um, it's like explain, the skin, almost like a corn apple. dog, but crispier. But the beef is so like juicy. And I'm not saying this is the healthiest <laughs> thing on earth. But with that sauce, <laughs> one of the best things I've had in Japan so far. No joke. I'm calling this. This is one of the best things I have had so far in Japan. See if it's that good, like everybody says. <laughs> Mmm. 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 I really think the sauce, whatever it is, the greasy old sauce, is the missing link here, I'm telling you. That is what makes this so special. Me and Mr. Clatt here, we're leaving stop number one. What did you think? I love the fried goodness of just about everything we tried. Delicious. Anything fried works. It's amazing. And I'm just really excited to get some more food in my stomach. So excited, so excited. We are about to try this mixed juice. So basically, this uh, place next door used to be a fruit shop. And with all the fruits that were overripe or they didn't look quite right, they would blend it with some milk and they invented mixed juice. 
Actually, the first thing I felt was a Mandarin because I really love Mandarin. So I was like, brain freeze, brain freeze, brain freeze, brain freeze here, brain freeze. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we've got a tiny vending machine with three little cups of sake. That is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. It's I've cute. seen beer, I've never seen sake in a vending machine. Yeah. I love the bright lights of this neighborhood uh, as the sun is setting. We are about to go to our third stop, a sushi spot. Uh, one thing I've noticed so far is that all the places we've went to seem like they haven't changed their decor in 30 or 40 years. And they're even playing 80s music here, George Michael song, but with a Japanese singer. So it's really setting an interesting mood. So this is flavored kelp. <laughs> flavored kelp. <laughs> we've got sushi here with kelp and mackerel. And it's pressed to make a rectangle, which is very unique to Osaka. Here we go. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try this before it falls apart. Here we go. First bite. And that is some of the freshest sushi I've had in a really, really long time. The mackerel is incredible. I just don't know what else to say. Mixed with a little bit of soy sauce, delicious. There's such a thin layer of fish compared to how much rice there is. So. For a person who doesn't like raw fish, it's super easy to down it. It's delicious. We all agreed that we probably would not have walked into this place unless we were actually on the tour. That restaurant had a lot of local character and flavor, and they were very happy to serve us, so that was great. We've got one more stop to go. I bought one of these with this character on it. Kuchitama! For six bucks. <laughs> like you guys in the US have the waffle machine. <laughs> they have these in their houses. Look at this. This one, the little. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Essentially, they are battered balls with octopus inside. Now, these ones got bonito flakes on top and because they're so thin they're kind of waving and uh, looks like they're alive. When you pop it in your mouth it's just going to burn your tongue so you want to split it up and let some of the steam out first is the, is the trick but he says it's probably okay now. I don't love it to be honest with you there's something about the taste of octopus I just don't like that much, but now I'm afraid I, of it. I, I, I like the, the fried ball, that's fine, but Here we go. not my favorite thing. I can tell you something, guys. If you like octopus or seafood, this is yeah. something that seems to be delicious, like really good. But for us, like, we are not octopus fans, no. it's, it's hard, but it's good. Glad I tried it, I would eat it again, but it's just not something I'd go out of my It's not something I would go out of my way for. I'll eat another one, but look, guys. <laughs> My job is to eat! <laughs> so guys, I really hope that uh, you'll get a chance to explore a bit of Osaka, a bit of Japan. Come and do a tour with me or one of our guides with Arigato Japan Food Tours. Thanks! Alright, members of the barrio, John Tall right here. That was a very fun tour with Arigato. If you want to take their tour, we're putting all the information in the description. We both highly recommend it uh, as travel vloggers. I thought it was quite unique to A, eat so much, and B, get some of the history yeah, and culture of, history. of the city. What did you think? Lots of history, beautiful tour, beautiful people. It was amazing. It was, it was great. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Tall's channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to me also if you are new first to the channel. To John. Well, first to Tall, then to me. That's fine. It's debatable. It, it, it's, it's debatable. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we've got a lot coming up over the next uh, couple of weeks in Japan. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time. We'll see ya. Yeah? Oishi this? Oishi this? Oishi this? Very good, very good. I like it. Very good? Yeah. We made friends in Osaka, guys. Ooh. Ooh.